Hey, it's Clay. Welcome to another video. This is going to be an explanation walkthrough of a pedal that I just made for my Line 6 HX Stomp. This will allow you to have foot switch 4 and foot switch 5 on an external pedal. Uh, I'm going to show you how I wired it up and uh, how it worked for me. Now, what I'm actually using here, you can deviate a little bit from my plan, and maybe you should, because um, I actually repurposed this box. This was a something that I previously used with a different pedal, but it works now, and I want to show you how that works, and you can kind of adapt it to your own design. So what you need to start is you need to have a stereo input jack, and that means that it has a tip ring sleeve connection. There are three connections, and that is important. You need to have all three of those. Second, you also need to have a TRS cable, which will look like this, right? And you can see that we have the tip here. Then we've got a little black connection. This is your ring here in the middle, and then your sleeve is down here on the bottom. That is important. You must have that. So then you also need to have these momentary switches. You're going to need two of them. They're momentary foot switches, and they're, they have two terminals here. Then the way that you wire it up is uh, the right terminal needs to have a wire that runs to this ground point. And this is actually on the sleeve position on the foot switch. So when your when your jack comes in, this is your sleeve right here. So the part of the foot switch that contacts the sleeve, uh, the terminal here that would contact the sleeve, that needs to be connected to your common ground point. Then your left position, uh, I currently have resistors here, but you you can just do this with a straight wire. Okay, one of them is going to go over here. This is your tip, and the other one is going to go over here. This is your ring. Okay, so then whichever one you have, that's obviously going to be the tip connection and the ring connection. Now I have three foot switches here. Currently these two are doing the same thing. I have resistors here, um, but it still functions even if you would have uh, no resistance as well. So it would just be easier if you just had two switches and just use the bare wires. So again, you need to have the, um, the right terminal of your momentary switch go to this common ground point here on the sleeve connection. And then you need to have the left position running wires to both the tip and the ring connections. And you're good to go. So please leave your comments down below. Let me know your thoughts on the video. And I'll see you again soon. Thanks. Bye.